Hey everyone, welcome to Shima Flow Yoga. I'm Jody, and today's video is yoga for the complete beginner. So if you've never done yoga before, this is the video for you. If you have done yoga before, this might be a nice video if you just want a very, very relaxing and calming type of practice. So really this video can be done by anyone, just depending on what your needs are. So today I have doTERRA's Motivate uh, Essential Oil Blend. It's a blend of mint and citrus scents. It smells really, really good. And I chose this, um, just because it really helps to get you moving uh, to, you know, starting a yoga practice can be very intimidating and very scary. So this is kind of give you that boost of confidence that you need to get started. You can place this on the bottoms of your feet um, to absorb into your bloodstream and then also diffuse it so you get that aromatherapy. It smells really awesome. So let's get started. Grab your yoga mat and let's find your happy place. Okay, so come on to your back into a reclined position. Relax your arms in a comfortable position. Close your eyes. And just start to breathe and notice your breath. So we're not gonna do anything special with the breath today, except for be aware of the breath. So as you're breathing, take your breath in and out of your nose. And just notice the rise and fall of your body as you breathe in and out. Our breath is our most important tool in our yoga practice. And practicing breath awareness begins this journey towards equanimity or balance of your mind. Freeing yourself of negativity, of judgment, of reaction, and just allowing yourself to be and to feel happiness, pure joy. All right, let's take our right knee and draw it into your chest. And just pause for a moment and maybe let's circle the, the feet. So it's kind of rolling through that ankle a little bit. One direction and then the other direction. And then guide your knee over to the left across your body. Reach your right arm out. Turn your gaze in the opposite direction of your bent knee and coming into a spinal twist. Now just take a moment to notice what you're feeling. Right? Through your spine. And make sure that you're really in tune with how you feel in your body in every single posture to make sure you don't go too deep, but then at the same time to make sure that you are going deep enough. So we really want to be able to feel a lot of sensation in our bodies as we practice yoga. Let's come on to the back. Hug that right knee back in. And then extend it all the way out. To the front of the mat. Let's switch sides. Left knee draws in. And we're just going to hold that knee in and then start to circle that foot around. And switch directions. Feels good. Move those joints. Okay, we're going to take that left knee, cross it over to the right, reach the right arm out. I like to gently press on the outside of my thigh. It gives me more sensation through my back. This twisting posture is really good for um, your spine, for strengthening, for flexibility, to massage internal organs, to tone your abdominals. Tune into the sensation of your body. Good, and then let's come back up to center. This time, pull your right knee in, so you have both knees into your chest. And then let's just draw circles with those knees. So now you're gonna start to feel a nice little back massage here with the top of the glutes, All right? Like, kind of getting a butt massage. That's like my favorite thing, butt getting a massage. <laughs> it's getting my butt massage. So if you've never had it done, I highly recommend you do it. Reverse. Feels good massaging through that back. 
just noticing, loosening it up a little bit. All right, come back to center. So we're gonna bring ourselves up to a seated position. So think about this, move your body in the best way that you can in this moment. So you might wanna rock and roll forward and back. You might wanna roll to your side and come up. We're coming to a seat. You, okay, are your own best teacher. You are the best teacher in any yoga room. So always remember that, listening to your body and doing what's best for you, okay? Let's inhale, reach the arms up, and then exhale, just fold forward, nice and easy. Nothing too crazy. Maybe you can touch your toes, maybe not. Maybe you're right here. It doesn't really matter, right? It's no expectation. It's just like what you're feeling in your body. You may want to grab a towel or if you have a yoga strap, right? If you're all ready and have all your props, you can bring a strap around your feet and just start to gently pull in. So what we're doing right here is we're just exploring the sensation. So as you close your eyes and come to your breath, where are you feeling this the most? Some of us are going to feel more in the legs, some of us more in the back. There's no right or wrong. It just depends on how your body's structured and how you're feeling today. Maybe what you did yesterday can have an effect on what you're feeling. So. Always keep your heart open to whatever you're experiencing in this moment and in every moment. Okay, we're gonna rise back up. Now this time, reach your arms up towards the sky, okay? And then as you exhale, we're just gonna twist over to the right. So take your right arm behind you, take your left hand on the outside of the thigh, take your gaze over your shoulder to encourage this twist. And then inhale, reach back up. And exhale, twist to the other side. Left hand behind, right arm to the outside of the thigh. And inhale, reach your arms up again. And exhale, twist again over to the right. Inhale, reach back up to center. And exhale over to the left. Let's do one more time on each side. Try to sit up nice and tall here. Try not to lean back into that hand, okay? Reach up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. And then inhale, reach your arms back up. And exhale, twist to the left. Good, last time reaching up. This time we're just gonna hold this twist a little bit longer. Right hand behind you, left hand on the outside. Now you wanna inhale and lengthen up. And then exhale, twist just a little deeper. Again, remembering not to force anything, easing your way into this movement. And you can see here now in this twist, versus when we were laying down, you feel more of that twist upper, towards the upper part, right, of your back or the middle part of your back rather than the lower part of your back. So just kind of tuning in and noticing where you're feeling that sensation. And then inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, twist to the other side. We always wanna lengthen up before we come into that twist. And then exhale, twist a little deeper. Either closing your eyes or keeping your eyes steady on a focal point. It's called drishti, your gaze. So I want you to think when your eyes are still, your mind is still, right? If your eyes are wandering around looking all over the place, your mind's gonna follow. So this is this practice of stilling the mind, of staying present. Okay, inhale, reach your arms up. Now exhale, take your right hand to your right side and lift your left arm up and over for a side stretch. So now, as you're reaching out of your left arm up, right, this left hip is gonna have this tendency to rise. So see if you can anchor that hip down as you lift. So you might need to kind of press down a little bit and then lift up and twist over. And you can use your right hand this time to push away for resistance to help you anchor this so that you feel a deeper stretch. Okay, so it's all kind of maneuvering the body and being present with what you're feeling. Draw the left shoulder back, maybe take that gaze up to open your chest. Try not to collapse down, right? We wanna open up. It's not how far you can bend over to the side, it's what you're feeling in your body. That's what's important. Good, rise up, inhale. Let's take that left hand down, exhale. Inhale the right arm up, and then start to slowly take that twist or that side bend. Anchoring down through your right hip, as you lift up out of that right side. Good, breathing, feeling. Good. One more breath in, reach just a little bit more. 
and then exhale let's bring that right hand down and then slide your hands behind you so you're going to bring your fingers forward or just a little slightly outward to open up your shoulders and we just want to open up into a nice back bend here lift the chest kind of lift your chin up a little bit and feel that openness through the front of your body breathe in and out try closing your eyes here inhale open up just a little bit more and then exhale release good let's reach up inhale one more time to that forward fold exhale come on down you flex the feet grab onto what you can take your gaze straight down towards your legs or gently draw your chin in towards your chest slowly bringing yourself deeper and deeper now if you're really tight you can bend your knees here a little bit this is going to help you it's going to help protect your muscles and help you go just a little bit deeper into the posture you know the longer we hold the pose the deeper we can get so see if you can go just a little bit more again not forcing anything slowly easing your way into sensation what you're feeling And let's guide our way back up all right we're going to come on to the hands and knees so take your time coming into a tabletop position and when we come into the hands and knees we're going to slide the wrists underneath the shoulders spread your fingers so they resemble starfish take your gaze just slightly out in front of you okay arms are straight you don't have to lock out your elbows here but find strength as you press away inhale you're going to lift your chin lift your tailbone Press away through the hands and then feel right here all this compression through your spine, through your back. Okay? And then you're going to exhale. This is called cow pose. Okay? And then you exhale to cat pose. You're going to push away around the spine, drop the head, look towards your navel. And then inhale, come back into cow pose, lift up. Keep the arms strong. Exhale, press away round cat pose. Inhale back, cow pose. And exhale to cat pose. Do this a couple more times, just follow your breath. So this is what we call vinyasa, when we synchronize our breath and movement. And the really cool thing about vinyasa is you can find this freedom to flow, right, at your own pace, with the pace of your breath. So some days you might be breathing a little faster, some days a little slower. Again, it's never right or wrong, right? It's what's serving you best. Honor yourself. This is a gift of love to yourself as you nourish your body, your mind, your spirit. All right, we're gonna come into child's pose. So we're gonna sit back onto the heels, fold over the belly, and then rest your head down. So you can bring your hands underneath your forehead. You can extend your arms out. You can bring them to the side. Okay. Your knees can be wide or they can be together. So you decide what you need. Some days I like my knees together, so my torso is resting, supporting my body. Other days, I like to just open up my knees and allow myself to sink down. And I think this is feeling good to me right now. So I'm just going to hold this variation of the posture. So child's pose or balasana is known as a pose of honor. And I like to think of it as a wonderful way to honor our body is to take breaks and to rest when we need to. So in any yoga class that you go into, if you need to honor your body, if you need to take a little break for whatever reason, it really doesn't matter, then you come here to child's pose if this feels good to you. And child's pose is not a posture for everyone. But if it feels good, it's a wonderful way to just connect. Okay, let's reach the arms out in front. 
moving in, downward facing dog. So we're gonna stretch our arms out. Now your hands should be about as wide as your shoulders or maybe, maybe just a little wider. And you wanna spread your fingers. Now notice my arms are straight and my elbows are lifted up off the mat, okay? So we want the arms nice and strong, reaching as far as we can. We're gonna come up onto the knees, okay? So now your wrist might be in front of your shoulders a little bit, that's okay. You're gonna tuck your toes and then you're gonna lift your knees and your hips, okay? From here, you're gonna push into your hands and shift your chest back to your thighs. Drop your head so you're looking at your navel or your thighs. Your heels will be slightly lifted. Lift your tailbone higher, press your heels down. Push away maybe a little bit more through the hands. Shoulders come away from the ears. Now you can take your gaze to your navel or to your knees. And then notice, right? Wow, you can really feel this. This is a big one. Feeling that strength in your upper body as you lift your tailbone higher and press your heels down. The stretch through your lower body, the back of the legs. Okay, we're gonna walk our hands back into a standing forward fold. Drop the head, let it hang nice and heavy. Now, if you need to, bend your knees here. You'll know right away if you need to bend your knees. In fact, it will just kind of automatically happen. You don't wanna feel any pain, of course, but we do wanna feel a good deep sensation, which might be a little uncomfortable sometimes, right? We kind of get out of our comfort zone in order to start to move into that transformation. Right. All right, let's rise up slowly to a standing position. Maybe bend the knees a little bit as you come all the way up. We're gonna reach the arms above the head. Take a deep breath in. Bring your hands together and then bring your hands to your heart. Okay. And then we're going to take our right foot and we're gonna step it out in front about four, three to five feet, okay? Toes are pointed straight forward, back toes are spinning in. We're gonna bend the front knee. So your heels are pretty much lined up here, okay? And we're squaring the hips forward. So the left hip comes forward, right hip back. If it feels a little uh, restricted, you can toe heel this front foot out a little bit to open up a little bit, and that might allow you to open up into this warrior one posture. We're gonna reach the arms up, good. Now, if you can, you can take the gaze up to your fingertips, but if that bothers your neck, it definitely bothers my neck, so I keep my gaze kind of lifted, but my neck not back so much, or my head not back so much, and then you're just gonna start to root down. Kind of relax your toes here, and then as you feel the weight of your body and your feet, just gently press away and start to notice what you feel, all this sensation in the legs. It's pretty cool when you're really present and you're noticing this connection of sensation to the body now breathe slow and deep. Keep your eyes steady. Find a non-moving object. Good. Let's bring the hands to the heart. This time we're gonna step the left foot to meet the front foot, okay? And then we're gonna switch. Take that right foot back, okay? Anchor the heel down. Heels are aligned or slightly apart. Left hip back, right hip forward. Lunge into that front knee, reach your arms up. Warrior one, long line. Good, steady breath, rooting down through the feet, maybe gently moving your feet away from each other as if you're trying to stretch out your mat. Feeling that sensation. Good, bring your hands to your heart. Step your front back foot to the front. Okay, and then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. We hinge from the hips, bend your knees a little bit here if you need to. Okay, plant your hands and then let's step all the way back to downward facing dog. Good, pushing through those hands, chest moving toward your thighs, tailbone lifting, heels pressing. So you're shaped just like an inverted V. Feeling that strength through your upper body. Drop your knees. Sit back, child's pose. And then rise on up. Okay, swing your legs around. Our final pose in any yoga practice is Shavasana, your final relaxation. Um, and actually, Shavasana is the most important part of your yoga practice. So what we've just done right now is we've prepared our body to find rest, okay, or to take rest. So lay on your back, 
Bring your feet about as wide as the uh, yoga mat, arms to your sides. Rest them in a comfortable position, palms up or palms down. Close your eyes and come to your breath. If your mind is busy right now, if you've got thoughts going on, let's see if we can let those thoughts go just for the next few moments of Shavasana. All right, let's slowly start to move our body. Just maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes. And then keep your eyes closed. You're gonna bend your knees, roll over to either your right side or your left side. And then from your side position, just use your hands to push yourself up to seated. Crossing your legs or kneeling, joining your hands together at your heart. Let's take this moment to check in. Notice truly how you're feeling in your body. Continue to notice your breath. This practice of self-love, yoga, Knowledge that you've given yourself this gift today. You made it through. Let's take one more breath together. Inhale, reach your arms above your head. Join your palms. Exhale, guide them to your heart. Namaste.